Hi everybody. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about a classical box set that came out earlier this year. When an artist you like in the classical field starts to release music and they say it's part of a series. You know, a conductor says, now I'll be releasing a cycle of Beethoven's complete symphonies or I will release uh, the complete uh, uh, piano sonatas by uh, Beethoven or so on. You might want to wait a while because the chances are that they will pull these recordings together all and put them in a box and release the box at a lower price. This is the case of this glorious box. The one that features Johannes Brahms' complete works for solo piano, performed by Barry Douglas. These are six individual CDs that has been released uh, over some years now. In 2012, 13, 14, 15, and 16. In 2018, they took all these six CDs and put them in a box. The box looks rather thick for six CDs, and that's because there are six booklets. Each CD comes comes like this. You see on the back where it is, how long it is, and what pieces they are. But each CD also has its own booklet. So the individual booklets from each each CD release are retained. So this is not a huge booklet for all but for all six CDs, but one individual booklet for each CD, which I might say I find rather interesting. Now the complete works, solo works of Brahms is magnificent to hear. Here you get to hear his sonatas, you get to hear variations, for instance, theme by Robert Schumann, themed variations after the second one of string sextet, these piano pieces, theme by Fuganini, variation fugue on a theme by Handel, some studies, and what the best part about this six CDs is that our dear Mr. Douglas who I shall say, uh, by the way, is an excellent piano player. I'll come back to more later. What he's done is that he's chosen to make six recitals. When he decided to make these CDs, he knew, or the plan was, that he was going to release six CDs of Brahms' complete piano music over a course of a couple of years. So when he released the first CD, he knew that there were going to be six volumes. He knew what work he had to work with. And then he could spread them out over the CDs. So the idea was not, so since this is a box of six already released CDs, this is not a box that features the work from A to Z, or from the first opus to the last opus number. Instead he's made these as a result, he thought, if I were to perform concert, if I were to make six, because there are six CDs here, if I were to make six concerts of Brahms' complete piano music, how would I then program them? Works that are in, 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 that are in a lot of movements are of course together. I mean, the, if a piano sonata has four movements, he performs it, movement one, movement two, movement three, movement four together. But if a piece is called five waltzes, and the only thing they have in common are that they are five waltzes with the same opus number, but they don't have to be performed one, two, three, four, five, like that, then he can spread them out over the discs. And that's what makes this such a joyous listening. Apart from being a very skillful piano player, he's also managed to rejuvenate this by doing this sort of recital thing, that means that you never get bored of listening to these CDs. If they have placed the the artist song, because I once read a, a review of a Swedish a box of box of rock and roll music from the fifth sixties, I think it was, and there they have put it from A to Z, and they said that this is puzzling. They say because we don't like the way it put. It would be better if they put groups that were similar in style and tone together and made, for instance, for the video disc. Like now, the only thing they have common, one song after another, which are very, very disparate in in in, in tone and, and and performance, is that they have the is that they are coming together after alphabetically. So this is a marvelous box. I didn't have to pay very much for it. I paid about I think it was between uh, was it six five or six hundred kroner. And then I took it from England, and I took the fastest shipping method so that it would arrive very swiftly. And this is the type of music that never gets bored, old, or out of fashion. And this is the type of music that I don't think anybody can hate. Well, 
I mean, there might be people who say, I don't like soul piano music. I mean, we don't like classical music. We don't listen to music at all. But any true musical hour will just evolve into this. This is the perfect music to study to, to do anything to. Uh, this is perfect in the background. And this is something that I truly can imagine. This is a true contender for my Desert Island disc. I still hold the Balka Quartet uh, complete Beethoven String Quartet in that position, but this one is a close contender. It certainly is. So this is the box for everybody who likes piano music, who likes Barry Douglas, and who likes Brahms. This is absolutely wonderful and a splendid gift to the classical music lover for Christmas or for birthdays or so on. Or just for yourself when you want to indulge in exuberant music playing. And it's also very interesting to read the, the liner notes, the, uh, as always with these classical companies, they are in great depth. And they are wonderfully written and you get a lot of knowledge. And Barry Douglas also writes interesting, I think, in the liner notes about how to approach and perform Brahms. He has wonderful essays and I truly like these essays when the artists themselves write about how it is to perform. A note from the performer, yes. And I like these that there are notes from a performer. I truly do. And it's also interesting to see the performer during the recording sessions. There are photos of him. I truly like it. So this is a glorious box that I truly can, uh, can uh, recommend for any lover of classical music, piano, and especially classical piano music, and especially classical piano music by Johannes. Brahms.